Treasure Island was founded in 1961 in Appleton, Wisconsin. The company was called the General Merchandise Company, and the company was founded by David Chris Kirk and his two sons, Robert and Stanley. It was only a year later when J.C. Penney acquired the chain. J.C. Penney would boost up the chain with many locations opening within the southeast as well as Milwaukee and California. Some locations even featured a supermarket which at the time was unknown with a discount store. The supermarket was comboed with the discount store which later 20 years from that time Walmart would found the Walmart Supercenter concept as well as Super Kmart and Target Superstores. Which it never mentions Treasure Island as being one of the influences, but I bet it was for Sam Walton. And well as the other founders of the Target and Kmart Corporation. As I mentioned before with the zigzag roofs, as the community stores also had the zigzag roofs as well as theirs and other stores. Treasure Island was unique with the zigzag roof as well. Which I'm not too sure why they had the zigzag roof. If it was just for more room for lettering or something. I don't know because most of the time they would have lettering on the top of their stores. Huge lettering too. These stores were huge. Being bigger than the typical Costco nowadays. Still, in 1978, the stores were closed as JCPenney opted out of the discount department store division. But oddly enough, the treasury stores lasted until 2008, which was weird. JCPenney's catalog business was actually inspired by the treasury stores, Treasure Island. Most of these stores, when they were closed in 1978, were converted to other uses as other stores like Zare and Home Depot would acquire these buildings and make their stores into there. Thanks for watching this video on Treasure Island and Treasury Stores.